how do you feel? How do the guys look? Uh, mentally and physically refreshed. You know, uh, I think that describes it the best. You know, it was nice to get away. I had a couple days where I didn't really know what to do, which is perfect. <laughs> um, you know, and like I said, I think we needed it. Uh, I needed it physically for sure. Um, but I feel much better and yeah, another plus stretch coming up, but you know, it's not as long as the other ones were, so I felt like you know the other ones would kind of start to make it feel a bit more in the final games. So I feel pretty good, you know, in this last stretch. Is it, uh, y'all were the chase for a long time last year, and now you're kind of the chaser, which is easier? Um, I mean, it doesn't, I've never really thought about it, to be honest. You know, we kind of just have to go out and collect points. You know, you can control what you can control, and that's, you know, what you do on the field. Um, and, and I think we've got to continue to do that and hopefully collect as many points as possible and some other people drop soon and we'll end up first. But um, whatever happens, happens. And like I said, just focus on us. Focus on getting good points on Saturday, then Wednesday, you know, so just like. Uh, we were talking to Luis uh, about his uh, first team contract and, and playing wing back. And he said he's gotten a lot of advice from some of the guys since it's not a new position for him. Have you helped him as a guy who's been playing wing back? Yeah, I mean, uh, he hasn't trained with us too often, you know, just because before the break we weren't really able to train that much. Um, but, you know, like the last week now, even before that weekend, we had a couple sessions. Um, but today I played against him, you know, we kind of just give him smaller tips here and there, you know. Where you feel like if you can benefit from, if he takes it, he takes it. If he's not, then that's his choice, you know. So, um, yeah, I've always been that guy, you know, not just a pen, but all the young guys and everybody that comes to me, you know, you can do that as Justin. Right. Is there anything specific that you told him that you could share with us? Um, it's not, it's, it's difficult to share with you guys because, you know, it's so specific to what just happened in practice. But I see, you know, it's nothing like generic, like, oh, you have to do this, this, no. It's mm -hmm. really just kind of what I noticed playing against him, what would make my life more difficult mm -hmm. you know, playing against him. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of just try and help him out with that. And, asked uh, Jeff to compare him to another player just to give fans an idea and he mentioned Justin Hero and I was wondering if you think that's accurate if you think it reminds you of any other player that Atlanta fans would know? Yeah, it's difficult to compare him uh, to somebody. Um, but yeah, I guess Justin, you know, obviously the opposite foot. But, <laughs> um, yeah, he's you know, always good technical, you know, likes to go only one, which is pretty quick, you know, and, and uh, yeah, it's just, I think, you know, obviously tactically as he knows the goal or can understand the game and obviously getting up to speed and all those kind of things, but uh, very promising, you know, and that's what the club's on him and you know, to everyone else even out like there. So, um, yeah, just uh, interesting to see how he's going to develop and how he's going to do. How is he as a, uh, you know, a locker room guy, as a teammate and chemistry-wise? He actually sits right next to me in the locker room <laughs> as well, so um, he's quiet. You know, he's pretty quiet. He comes in, you know, says hello, does his thing, and gets ready for training. You know, it's not, it's not a, which, which, you know, I think he's just pretty good as a young guy. You know, you don't always have to be the, the hot shot coming into the, the locker room like this, you know, especially in the season. Um, you know, like, he seems like a, like a down to earth guy, you know, that's hard working, and, you know, that has all, all the things that he needs in order to be successful, you know, and how far he takes it, it's just up to him. I think it'd be safe to say that that break couldn't have come in a better time with the six game stretch. I yeah, have you in the playoffs. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, and we always knew it was there. You know, we kind of were looking forward to it, especially in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's, it's a good time. You know, it's been a good time to, to kind of get away and clear the mind and get the body refreshed. And uh, yeah, you know, back and wanting to get back on the field. You know, I think that's a big thing. I, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Jeff, you used the kind of game last year, Toronto, maybe to compare the Philadelphia game, kind of springboard the rest of the season's heavy. Kind of yeah, fair. yeah, we hope so. You know. Um, we obviously, last year we kind of could have won it, you know, uh, the supporter shield in a way, but we knew that going into the playoffs, you know, that it'd still be a long way to go. Now we're actually fighting for, you know, a pretty big advantage in the playoffs to have, have home field throughout, you know, especially in the East. And, um, so it's a bit of a different situation, but yeah, a loss can sometimes spark that, and maybe that Philly loss will be that close. The way the schedule works out this year, you know, I think last year, after this international break, there was still basically two months left uh, was a lot of the season left, but now, I don't know, does it just change the mentality of coming in fresh and having such a short race to the finish? Yeah, uh, it's, it's you know, it will it'll go by really fast, you know, you, you blink an eye and the playoffs are here. Um, you know, and I 
playoffs before the playoffs we have a little break again, which was nice too. Um, but yeah, it'll go by fast, and we're gonna have to be ready. And you know, we've obviously had stretches like this where we can draw stuff from, and, and, and that's really the most important thing I think you know, for us to just go out there and collect points. If it's the same eleven guys that play every week, if it's not, if it's not gonna be you know, we need everybody. Um, you know, so it'll be you know just just mindsets. What about Columbus itself? How do you avoid a potential letdown? I know you say you're excited to be back on the field, but it's still been two weeks off. How do you avoid that first half, just initial, maybe letting a goal in early to, to get back into the flow of the game? Yeah, we just, you know, we've played 11 11 today. We're probably going to do that tomorrow, you know, just to kind of get back into the little game rhythm again to, to get back to what it feels like, you know, playing 11 11 and playing the way we want to play. Um, you know, and that obviously, like you said, you can't have any rust, you know, now that played so much that you have a break off with a really good break and then you can't have any rust going into it. So we're making sure that in training, you know, trying to be mentally ready for those moments and uh, hopefully get you know miles up and get back tomorrow and then um, you know push on and be ready for something. Is that a, a difficult challenge to go from you know it's two different sides of the coin I feel like mentally yeah. like you go from being like the challenge is we are playing every three days and these are all the finals it feels like to go and like you gotta get yourselves up out of a long rest. What? How is it changing your mentality? Like that? Yeah, it's, it's pretty black and white. You know, mm -hmm. you really have all all soccer, soccer, soccer. Mm -hmm. You know, every time, and then all of a sudden nothing anymore. Yeah. Um, so it's just uh, you know you kind of have to find a balance of obviously enjoying the rest time off, but then when you come back in here, you gotta be ready to, to get back to work and then be cool and completely again. You know, um, you know I think we had a, a pretty good session yesterday to kind of get back into it. Be going today, and then, you know, looking forward to tomorrow to kind of push on and mentally, you know, have a good session tomorrow. I think that'll be that most likely prepare us very well in for Saturday. I don't think we got to talk to you before the Philadelphia game, but there was a little bit of social media hullabaloo that you were suspended for the Philadelphia game after what happened with yeah. Danny. Were you surprised that you weren't suspended? Um, no, because there was no intention for me to, to you know, hit him. I actually don't even remember if I really hit him or if I just graced him, um, you know, but I mean, I, I have social media and Orlando took that the way they did. And, uh, um, you know, I, like I said, there's, he grabs me for about five seconds before that happens. And I try and run down the field. So I, you know, I didn't really expect to suspend it just because I'm not that type of player that would kind of swing, especially not, you know, he's not, not that they're a human guy. Um, so I, you know, if, if I apologize to him after right away, you know, I told him I didn't mean to, to touch him that way, and then he was like, "Yeah, I understand." Okay. Just curious.